This video is sponsored by Hook Theory. Being familiar with a wide range of chord progressions and songs that use those progressions is a really great way to not only improve your ear, your ability to recognise those chord progressions when they're played in other contexts, but also gives you sort of a palette, a repertoire of sounds and tonalities that you can draw from when you're trying to put a certain mood into your music. So today we're going to look at minor key chord progressions, different sort of flavours of minor key. And we're going to start with this progression, which is what I would call the minor climb progression, or what you could think of as the House of the Rising Sun progression. It's not the entire progression used in the song House of the Rising Sun, but it is the first four chords in that progression. So going back to the key of A minor, it's A minor, C, D major, F major. That's our minor climb chord progression. So we have this obvious sense of climbing up, walking up the scale. But we're also getting here a mix of two different types of minor scale. We're getting the more typical natural minor scale, what we could call the Aeolian mode, which is what we're hearing for most of this. But when we get to the D major chord, we're getting a moment of what's called Dorian, A Dorian, because in a normal A minor scale, we wouldn't have this F sharp that's in the D major chord. We'd have a F natural, because the A minor scale, right, is just the white notes. But when we get the D major chord, it introduces this F sharp instead, which is the one note that's different in Dorian. Dorian is just like the minor scale, but when we get to that sixth degree, it's been raised up. There is a house in New Orleans. They call So that last chord progression was mixing two different types of minor scale, Aeolian and Dorian. Aeolian being the same as the natural minor scale, and Dorian being like the natural minor, but with a raised sixth. But the next progression we're going to look at is mixing the natural minor, the Aeolian, with the harmonic minor. So this is a chord progression that goes A minor, D minor, C, E. So, once again, the first three chords are from the natural minor, the Aeolian scale, but then it's that last chord, the E major chord, which introduces that G sharp, the harmonic minor note. And that drives us back to the beginning again. Gives it a far more serious sound. It sounds dramatic, that E major with its G-sharp, adds that level of drama. I 
often get comments on these chord progression videos asking how I find so many examples of songs using the same chord progression. And quite genuinely, a resource I go to right at the beginning of my research process for this is today's sponsor, Hook Theory. Hook Theory have this amazing tool called Trends where you put a chord progression in and it will show you various different songs that use that same chord progression. So that's always a really great kicking off point when I write these videos. Hook Theory also offer various other fantastic tools for learning music theory, including an ear training game called Chord Crush, where they turn the process of learning how to detect chord progressions by ear into a really fun game. Enjoy 20% off select Hook Theory products by following the link in the description. This last chord progression we're going to look at now is just purely natural minor, purely in the Aeolian scale. Remember, Aeolian is just like a fancier name for natural minor. It's like the modal name for the natural minor scale. In other words, the white notes. A to A is an A natural minor scale or an A Aeolian scale. So this chord progression we're going to look at now is what I would call the Aeolian closed loop because it's a chord progression that stays completely in Aeolian, natural minor, but it's also a closed loop, which means that it ends where it began. So this chord progression here, A minor, G, D minor, and A minor again. So it begins and ends with A minor, it's a closed loop. It kind of seals itself off, and although we can repeat it, it doesn't need to repeat to get the resolution. So often with four chord loops, you have to repeat it to get back to the resolution point, get back to the tonic. Here, that's not the case. Is it? 